Hello guys, you can see that there is a marine propeller. And today I am going to show you how to make this propeller in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. At first click here. And then select part and click OK. So we have taken a new window. Now go to sketch and select front plane then click on sketch. So our first duty is to select a circle. So select circle and from the midpoint draw a circle. Now ok, go to smart dimensions and take it 1000 millimeter. Ok, now go to features and select extruded boss or base. Make it 1250 millimeter and from select mid plane. Ok. Now click on top plane. Now go to reference geometry. Now select plane. Now from here select 375 millimeter distance. Ok. Again go to reference geometry, select plane. Now it will be 2500 millimeter. Ok. Now we have two planes, plane 1 and plane 2. Set first, select plane 1. Click on sketch. Now click on space bar. And then go to normal 2. Okay, now select line. And draw an oblique line. Select. Now go to line and select center line. And through the, through the center, draw a center line. Now go to smart dimensions and make this dimension 4000. Okay. Now click here. Press on control and click the center point and make them make midpoint. Okay. Now again select smart dimension and click on these two lines and make the angle 54.40 degree. Okay. 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 Now exit. Now click on plane 2 and click on sketch. Now click on space bar. Then go to normal 2. Now select line and draw a line. Okay. Now select the line. Press on control. Select the center point. Okay. Select the center point. Press on control. Now select the line. Now click make midpoint. Okay. Now go to smart dimensions and make this one again 4000 millimeter. Okay. Now check these two lines. Okay. Now exit. Now go to surfaces. And from here select lofted surface. Now click the bottom edge. Exit. Again uh, click on lofted surface. So I click here first. Okay. Now click here and click here. Now check this one. Okay. Okay. Now from here select front plane. 
and go to features then go to reference geometry select pen now this time it will be 3000 millimeter okay now click on plane 3 and click on sketch now click on space bar and click on normal <coughs> now select spline and drop from here okay exit Now, go to Curves and click on Project Curve. Now, at first select this one. Now, for this one, select this plane and check this one, it is in opposite direction. So, click on the Reverse Projection. Okay. Now, hide all the planes. Click and click on hide. Okay. Now again go to curves. Okay. That curves go to surfaces and click on trim surface. Okay. So for trim tool, click this line, select this line, and I check this one is remove selection. So we'll uh, remove some parts. So just I am removing these outer parts. So click. Okay. So the outer part is removed. Now click on this line and height. Okay. Now click on thicken. Thickness will be 10 millimeter. And click here. Okay. So you apply some thickness. Now go to Fillet it will be 10 millimeter. Click in this side and now this side. Okay. It's filleted. Now we need to fillet this portion. Now again click on fillet. Also 10 millimeter. Just click here. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now go to features. Uh, from linear pattern, select circular pattern. Now for parameters, select this outer circle. It will be 5, it will be 360 degree. And go to bodies and click here. Okay. Okay, now select right plane, sketch, space bar, then normal to select line and from this edge point draw a line up to midpoint. Okay, and a line. Now small vertical line. Okay. Now go to smart dimensions. The horizontal line will be eight hundred seventy-two millimeter. Okay. The vertical will be only seventy-two millimeter. Okay. Now select three three point arc and Join the arc, make an arc. Okay. Okay, now go to features and click on river boss or base and just click here. Okay. Now click on this edge 
and from here go to insert then features now go to dome and it will be just 25 millimeter just take the dome okay we are almost finished click here and click on sketch then space bar put a normal tool select circle okay now go to features click on okay so before uh, that one put a smart dimension and it will be 700 mm go to features click on extruded cut and it will be 1250 mm okay okay now put the fillet and make it 20 now fillet this parts this one outer one and the inner one okay now just we need to apply the material make it perspective change the background make it rooftop you can apply any other background now let's apply the material uh, put to appearance put to metal then i'm selecting aluminium you can select any other metal i'm applying this one okay now and it let's apply color so you click on edit appearance and just i'm applying this color this one looks better okay so my drawing is complete you can check this one okay i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you are new if you have any question ask in the comment box and also you can make any comment click the like button and don't forget to share with your friends thank you